Welcome to my channel, I'm Just Nene, and today, did anybody tell you that they love you? Well, me, I'm Just Nene, I'm gonna tell you that I love you, and I uh, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and leaving a comment right down, right down there. I do respond back, but I want y'all to stay tuned and get into this uh, video that I'ma have, and uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, what I want to talk about today is do you have a plan do you have uh, how you want your next two to five years to be where do you want to be financially where do you want to be as far as in the house where do you want to be as far as traveling where do you want to be as far as even increasing or uh, getting more knowledge or education do you want you know uh is there a dream car that you one day want to own and do you think you'll have it within the next two to five years now what i am starting to do let me see if i can oh here it is mm. is i have a open dated planner that i had got from big Lot. And so what I have or what I'm going to start doing as of starting, well, I've already started. I started the last time I wrote something in here was on uh, September 12th. And it was talking about um, what I needed to do. Uh, and I did. Okay. So we're going to switch over to what today is Tuesday. But I'm going to pick up tomorrow and I'm going to write what is my plan for tomorrow what is it I need to do because see we have to have a blueprint to follow in what we want to do it in our life we can't just sit and fly by the pants and say and wish and hope you need to have a plan if you know when you get ready to have that house built that architect is going to lay out a floor plan he's going to put the bathroom here he's going to put the kitchen here the the living room here he's going to plan everything out he's going to measure it out is that what you're doing do you have a blueprint and I thought about this today when I was at uh, teleworking and I said to myself I said Nene rather Toya do you have a blueprint plan on what you want to do for the next two to five years where do you want to be a lot of people knock it on the dream boards or everything and I've been looking online at houses I've been looking at houses that yeah I want to see how a, a $900,000 house look how a million dollar house look because in my spirit I'm saying I may be able to afford this one day only you or only me know what that blueprint is for me to get there a lot of people be like child you know no oh, if I'm a dream I'm a dream big if when I go for that's just like when you go pick a number and play the lottery you're taking a chance so why can't you take a chance on your dream why can't you plan it out write it out say it is what you want to do that is the main thing um I used to catalog a lot of stuff that I wanted to do in my life and now that I think about it I have had a, some pretty nice blueprints that I followed uh, one was I did go into the military I did uh, go to Hawaii I said I wanted to either live in Texas Washington State or California well guess what I visited Hawaii four times I've been to Texas a few times I also I lived in California and I lived in Washington State I said now this is funny now I said I wanted to work for an airline well, when I got out the military I ended up working for Horizon Air which is a part of the Alaska Airlines group 
which is a part of uh, is the regional carrier for Alaska Airlines. I worked there for four years. Um, I said I wanted to work for the government. I ended up working for the government. So, so far, everything that I've had or I've put on a dream sheet, because I know when you're in the military, you come, before you come out of boot camp and you go to your job, they tell you to fill out your dream sheet of three places you would like to go. And guess what? I ended up, that's how I ended up in San Diego. I filled it out so why can't you have a blueprint for when what you want to do in life a lot of us are working towards okay getting a thousand subscribers if we are smaller youtubers and getting our hours our watch hours okay are we writing down on the blueprint what do I need to do to get the thousand subscribers and what do I need to do to get the watch time so that I can get monetized because guess what once I get that monetization uh, once I get those thousand once once YouTube gives me the okay am I just gonna drop at the waist or am I gonna rise above everything like a phoenix that's what you have to think about you have to think about not only on this camera but you also got to think about it with your life do I want a two bedroom three bedroom a uh, house or do I want a four bedroom three bath house that's what you got to think about what okay if I want to go to school and get me a doctorate but not be a doctor but get it in philosophy or whatever what is there out there for me as far as financial aid what do I need to do what tests do I need to take what college do I want to get my doctorate in and um, what do I want to major in you know things just don't get handed to you like some people get a silver spoon I know I don't get things handed to me I always had to work hard for my for what it is that I want to do but when I look back the hard work really does pay off you know you got to be positive no negativity negativity is just a weight that's around your ankle your waist wherever you want to have it that just seems to be like a dark cloud hanging over that you don't need um so what you do is you take that negativity and you turn it into something positive so people can throw something at you one moment but you can take it and keep going with it and say you know what i rise above you like a phoenix because i am a phoenix you know i sat here and i'm gonna be honest with you i thought about what I was going to turn this camera on and say and it just came to me like that it just came to me like that and I said blueprint do you have a blueprint you know because some of us be out here flying by pants or whatever and we don't plan out uh, what we're going to talk about as far as a creator or what we're going to put on our channel to create and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't well guess what you got to have a, a plan. Plans get you further than just flying by the seat of your pants. If you are going into an area that you are lukewarm in or you haven't really studied up on it, <clears throat> you commit yourself to actually get better at what you do or what you're trying to do. Everybody got to start somewhere. But once you get there, you just take off like a phoenix. And you know, phoenix, <laughs> of course, I'm that phoenix if y'all did not know me i am i believe in phoenixes and i am that phoenix because i believe that i can rise from any ashes you know if you're cool with me you're cool with me if you're not cool with me i'm still gonna be willing to help you regardless that's just how i was raised and how i was taught my grandmother always told me baby girl have a plan she always told me if a young man take you out to eat make sure that you got some money to pay for your meal in case he decides that he don't have the money to pay for your meal. That's the main thing that she always told me. And I used to crack up laughing about it, but it's some truth to it. Um, you know, I've had people tell me, uh, you know, well, what's your plan? And then when I show them what my plan is, they sit there and they be like, really? Really? That's my plan. That's what I plan on doing and that's what I'm going to continue to do. 
you know and that is the main thing you have to know how to get from point a to point b to point c don't get to point a and then you all the way to d and you just now decide to write down what your plan is because that's not how it works that's why i said what is your plan two to five years where do you see yourself in two to five years can you visualize it i see me owning my own uh staging company one day as far as staging people's homes for sale and stuff like that i see myself owning my dream home regardless how many bedrooms bathrooms it has i see myself opening the door to it i see myself opening the opening the car door and getting into my dream car that is just me but guess what i got a blueprint i got a plan gotta have a plan or a blueprint and it doesn't hurt take five minutes maybe five to ten minutes or 15 minutes out of your day to write out what it is that you're doing what it is that you to get to that plan you know some of us think oh once we, we reach monetization and the, the 1,000 subscribers or we can kick back no baby you you just now really starting to grind have that always have that hunger because if not, somebody's going to come right behind you and have more hunger than you and pass you up. Or you're going to be like, you know what? We started at the same time or they started after me, but they passed me. It can happen. But guess what? I bet you that person had a plan. You know, I appreciate going into people's lives who uh, talk about what is your plan after you get from point A to point B. What are you going to do from B to C? What are you going to do from C to D? I like uh, going to people's channels to talk about finance or how to fix your credit score or how to, you know, go and get grants that you didn't know existed with the government or whatever. And then they'll lead you to that. And then you're like, you know what? Hmm. Let me go check this out. You go check it out and you see that they had the information that you needed so they gave you the foundation once you get the foundation you got to continue to build you got to continue to build you got to continue to build am i wrong or am i right you know but this is something that was heavy on my heart today guys and i wanted to talk about it and i wanted to let you guys know what i was thinking about do you have a blueprint do you have a plan go get you a planner write things out Sometimes when you, even when you, and I'm going to say this, even when situations seem so stressful and you seem stressed out, it does not hurt to even journal. I have a few journals where I write out uh, things that have been negatively said or done to me and then I write how I turn it into something positive. Um, because it takes more muscles to, 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 be, to frown than it does to smile. And a lot of people don't realize that, you know, you can, as as my, uh, the little saying, you can stump your teeth and roll your eyes or whatever, you know, you can do all of that. But guess what? It takes more energy to do that than to just be positive, you know. If someone comes to you and they uh, say so-and-so said so-and-so, so-and-so, don't take them for face value. Go to that person, be the big enough man, be the big enough woman, and say, hey, you know, I, I, I want to get an understanding. Was this said, and was there a reason why it was said? And then once you put your grown man underwear or your big girl panties on, then you can resolve it and you can move on. And it could be either, oh, you know what? It was a misunderstanding, a miscommunication, or yes, I said it or I didn't say it, but you resolved it you planned it i don't want to have negative energy around you or around me it's a common goal so with that being said guys i hope you guys are having a blessed evening blessed day blessed morning wherever you are in this world remember stay blessed stay prayed up wear your mask keep yourself safe doesn't hurt to tell somebody I love you because me I'm just Nene if didn't nobody tell you they love you me I'm gonna tell you I love you me I'm just Nene yeah I'm ranting and I'm raving but hey it's okay you can't get enough love in this world love is free y'all remember that so again 
someone gives you lemons, you make lemonade and you keep it positive and mm -hmm.